Hey, Scorpio ladies. I know that I've said I'd wait till the end and put out a reading for you guys because the reading was so for men, okay? But I didn't wait till the end. I'm getting yours out in between everybody else's and I might get yelled at by everybody else for giving Scorpio two readings, but the reading that says your boss sucks, it was really all for men. There was nothing about ladies in there, which is weird because most of my people are ladies, but Anyway, so we're going to do a quick reading just for the ladies. The ladies are in the house. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. This reading is for Scorpio ladies. Okay, Scorpio ladies. It's for the week of October 13th to the 19th, 2019. Please send through messages for the Scorpio ladies who are going to come to this channel and watch this reading who need the messages the most please send through the most important messages that they need to hear this is for anyone with scorpio placements who is a lady or at least female <laughs> all right so please um october 13th to the 19th 2019 for scorpio females anyone with scorpio in their chart that's a lady send through the most important messages they need to hear i'm gonna do this super fast so i can catch up on my other work guys okay for scorpio ladies anyone with scorpio placements that's a lady please Nope, didn't like the way that even came out. Ladies. Ooh, look at you. High Priestess in the middle. Beautiful. Anything else for Scorpio ladies that's important? There's that damn Emperor in reverse. He was from the first reading. Well, you guys should watch both then. Cross watch the men's reading too. All right, two more cards for the Scorpio ladies. Two more important ones, please. What's important here? Send importance for the lady Scorpios and clarity, please. What do they need to know the most here? Two more cards. Here we go, we got three. All right. All right, well, I wanted to keep it short and we got an extra card, but that's okay. All right, let me just look back here and see what's happening. There's our King of Wands in reverse again, too, with the partnership card and the sun. I'm telling you, this guy is a... All right, so this is a soulmate relationship gone very wrong, and I feel like it could, again, be centered. Could it be work for you guys, too? You guys, maybe that reading was for all of you, but there were no ladies in it. But anyway, it has something to do with a relationship or a partnership with a king of wands who's in reverse. I feel like it's the same man, the emperor. So probably an Aries, could be a Leo, could even be a Sag. There's enough cards here to be any one of those signs, but the sun keeps coming out with them, so I feel like he's a Leo. Temperance is in reverse, so we have a, a situation that's not in balance here. Someone feels completely out of balance here. Also, this man being an emperor in reverse and a, a king of wands in reverse, this could be his impatience. Temperance in the reverse could could have to do with lack of patience. I feel like this man is very impatient. That's what I'm strongly feeling. All right, now, for you ladies, you are coming out as the Queen of Wands, his counterpart. So this is either um, your relationship partner or your business partner or your boss. With the Emperor in reverse, again, just like the men's reading, I feel like this is not love. Does this at all look like love? No. All right, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for the Scorpio reading, please. Ladies only Scorpio reading. This is only for females. 
this reading. Okay, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good, please help me clarify the cards I've already laid down for this reading. Please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most for October 13th to the 19th, 2019. For anyone with Scorpio placements, that's a lady. Why is the eight? Oh, I, I didn't even go over these cards with you. Four of Pentacles in reverse, um, Four of Swords, Moon in reverse, Ace of Wands, High Priestess, Hanged Man, Emperor in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse, very insincere here, Queen of Wands, which I feel is you, and Two of Wands, which means you're making a firm decision about someone who is out of control and not a sincere person. You are dropping it. You're done. You're not holding on any longer. Um, it's been tough making the decision. You didn't even have all of the information, but it has been trickling out slowly. I feel as though you are gaining insight in a situation, and it was very hard before for you to make this decision because you didn't have all the facts. There is a new beginning on the table for you, and you are coming out as the high priestess as well in the center of your reading. Pop in with your intuition. You've gained a lot of spiritual enlightenment with the um, high priestess and the hangman, but you're still not quite out of that hangman state yet. You're still working, which is good. This is all good work you're doing. All right, this is um, very healing, very insightful, um, doing that internal work that you need to do, the kind of work that makes you come out of it and go, I know what to do. I'm dumping this loser. All right, and that's where I think that you're at, honestly. God, thank God the men aren't watching right now. All right, let, give me one on the Four of Pentacles reversed. Why is the Four of Pentacles reversed? Four of Pentacles in reverse, please. Why is it here? All right, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Five of Cups reverse. Okay, so you were feeling very drained. The, here they are in the upright. They both came out reversed. You're feeling very drained. You cannot hold on to this any longer. You, <clears throat> you know there's been a lot lost, but you're going to heal from that. You're already working on your healing over here. All right, so you're coming out of this Five of Cups, this grieving thing. You cannot hold on to this anymore. You're done. All right, let's look at the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here, please, for the Scorpio ladies reading? Three of Cups. There is no victory here, no celebration, no coming together with the Three of Cups in reverse. It's just not happy. Let's look at the moon here. Why is the moon reversed? Did secrets come out or something here? Why is the moon in reverse? Scorpio ladies reading still. Moon reversed. Why is the moon reversed for the Scorpio ladies reading October 13th to the 19th? Wow, the Hierophant. I love this Hierophant card. Beautiful. Very spiritual. This Hierophant is teaching this child how to work with the universe. I love it. All right, so um, Two of Swords is also in reverse. So you have made a um, very decisive decision on the path you want to go down with the Two of Wands here at the end of your reading. That's about choosing what path you want to take. You're making that decision now. Um, the Hierophant in re I mean, the Hierophant is not in reverse. It's in the upright. This decision is about a relationship where there's been a lot of hidden stuff. Possibly secrets that have possibly come out. All right, let's look at, um, and this, like I said, does not have to be a love relationship. This could be a business relationship. There's a lot of unhappiness around this. There's information that hasn't been, you know, given that you're, you're unsure of there's all this murkiness things have been unclear and I thought I think you're starting to gain a little clarity in this situation and you're realizing that um, it's just not for you tell me about the ace of wands why is the ace of wands here please oh, wow that's way 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 too many that flipped over why is the ace of wands here for the Scorpio reading please ace of wands Wow, 
Queen of Swords and Four of Wands. Beautiful. Look at those. They're beautiful. I love this Queen of Swords card. I really do. She just looks so peaceful and serene and beautiful. All right. So there's something. Um, I just, I'm sorry. Give me one minute, guys. I feel as though you're coming in the, out in this Queen of Swords energy because you're going to um, speak your truth, probably do some cutting here. I, she's not in the reverse, though, so I feel as though because she's not in the reverse, I feel as though you're going to communicate um, about your new beginning. Like, you are coming out with the the four of wands which means you want and have a very stable nice home life and you want to keep it that way I feel as though you might be fearing that this could all if this is work related could interfere with your your Zen home life you know the way you like it you don't want to feel like there's anything coming into your home that's negative let me get one on the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here, please, with the Queen of Swords? Why is it here with the Queen of Swords? Ooh, gosh, nope. Nope, that's not going to work. Why is the Four of Wands here with the Queen of Swords, please? Oh, there it is. Wow, this Two of Pentacles is the endless loop, something that never ends. See that? Um, the ex what's it the infinity sign see it this card reminds me of something that just doesn't end it goes on and on and on and on it's that endless loop you are going to speak up about this endless loop you don't want to be stuck in the same cycle it's a cycle that keeps repeating and listen this cycle could have gone on through generations you might be stopping a cycle of your own that you've watched your mother do your sister do you do you know what i mean like you're cutting that out you want you're doing all this spiritual work you've got the hierophant the high priestess you've got the hanged man these are really beautiful spiritual cards i feel as though you are working on making sure that something that's an endless cycle does not interfere with your zen i mean this is a lot of zen this this queen of swords is very zen she sits playing a harp she's very serene look at the beautiful home on the water sitting looking at the water i mean this is like somebody who's very chill and they want to keep it that way and they don't want any cycles to repeat in their lives that's what i feel is happening here let me look at the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here, please, Scorpio women? Why is the High Priestess here? Here we go. Wow, so there's been some loss. With the three of swords, there's been some kind of loss here. Heartache, pain, and loss. Page of Pentacles is here too. So there might be something tangible that you're working on. See how there's like energy around that pentacle? It's like, um, I feel as though you are working on something tangible. It's very possible, let me just look at this for a quick moment. It might be Some of you might have had a third party happen here. You do have the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. Let's see what else comes out. Let me I want to look at the bottom of the deck. Yep, there was the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so a lot of you were dealing with some kind of third party situation. Now keep in mind, third party can be any kind of in interference. I think it was family. I think that you, some of you have dealt with family interference 
and you don't want to repeat that it's like you're you're seeing that something needs to change here because this is what happens in your family it's like this is what my family does you know and I don't want this anymore and I am literally like conjuring up something different here I'm literally working on something else because I don't want this heartache and this stuff that they do that's almost like family sabotage and you guys know what I mean it's like generational stuff all right, let's look at the hanged man. Why is the hanged man here for the Scorpio ladies? Hanged man, why is it here? Eight of wands. Wow, not moving forward. All right, so this in the upright is very quick movement. In reverse, it's like at a standstill. Right now, you're in the hangman mode and you're at a standstill. This is definitely holding off. This is called, let's just chill for a little bit. All right, so somebody is definitely halting things. Whatever it is, halt, it's at a halt. All right, let's look at the emperor here in reverse. Why is the emperor reversed here? Judgment in reverse, no reconciliation. All right, so some of you are not going to reconcile with this man, and who would want to really reconcile with the emperor in reverse? But of course, he could be in reverse because he's upset because you're not going to reconcile with him. It has something to do with family issues, I feel. I don't know why I'm getting this like this, guys, but it's coming through, and you guys can tell me. All right, so, um, whoa. I wasn't even ready, but the page of wands just blew out. All right, why is the, um, wait, I'm just looking here. Okay. All right, um, I'm just looking, guys. Give me one minute. Yeah, for some of you, you're trying to make a decision about this home and family issue and what you want to do. Where does your new beginning go? Does it is it with this emperor? I think not. I mean, with the emperor in reverse and judgment in reverse, I'm going to get one on it. Why is the emperor reversed with judgment in reverse? Scorpio ladies reading. Why is the emperor in reverse with the judgment in reverse? Insincerity. Yeah. All right, so the Page of Cups in reverse shows up, and so is the Page of the Knight of Cups in reverse. So you, you're you aware of the lack of sincerity in this situation, and um, you've chosen a new path. With the Two of Wands in reverse, you already chose your new path. You've got it twice here. Two of Wands in reverse twice. Insincerity in reverse. I mean, the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups both in reverse here. And yes, there could have been a, a rejection. You could have chose to reject this man. Like no reconciliations happening here. Let me look at the Knight of Cups reversed. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here, please? Five of Wands reversed. Coming out of fighting, and this is like fighting a fire-breathing dragon. Look at it. This is harsh fighting. Really fighting somebody who's harsh. Coming out of that. I want one more on the, wasn't even ready. Give me one more, please, on the Knight of Cups in reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? Wait, hold on, guys. Okay, sorry, guys. Um, Why is the Five of Wands reversed? Five of Wands with the Knight of Cups reversed. Why are they here together? I feel like you're coming out of the fighting, but you're not going to reconcile. Seven of Swords reverse. Wow. Okay, wow. All right, so the dirty deeds that this person did to you, they came out. Like, you already know about them. You know about the lack of sincerity. You know that they're trying to get away with something. You're not interested. You are definitely choosing another path, I feel. All right, well, let me keep going. Why is the Queen of Wands here, please? Scorpio ladies, why is the Queen of Wands here, please? Yeah, lack of success as well. 
So with the Six of Wands here, you know there was no success with this person. Give me one more on the Queen of Wands. Nope, that, there was a third party again. This popped out. Three of Pentacles. Wow, I wasn't even ready. I didn't even ask a question yet. Um, okay, give me the Six of Wands reversed with... Six of Wands reversed with the Queen of Wands, please. Why is the Six of Wands here reversed with the Queen of Wands? Seven of... I'm not going to take the stuff that didn't flip over. Um, seven of Cups reversed. That's what you would be up against if you had to make a different choice. You've chosen not to. You've gained clarity on the situation. You know that you're dealing with pretty much a monster. Pretty much a monster. So you are definitely no-go on this. And Six of Wands can be not moving forward as well. Not only lack of success, but I'm not moving forward. You've gained clarity. You're not moving forward with whoever this is. Two of Wands, please. Why is it here reversed? Why is the Two of Wands reversed? Two of Wands is all about choosing your path. Yep. Somebody was unable to see the beauty right in front of them. They were blinded to it. Didn't see it. And you've chosen a new path. Two of Wands reverse. Wow, that this was very clear reading. You guys have definitely chosen another path. The only thing I'm concerned about is I feel as though somebody has seen other people in their family, friends, whatever, around them do the same thing over and over. And maybe they did too. And they just decided, like, I'm going to break this cycle. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to definitely do something totally different and I'm not going to move forward with this person. I'm going to reject the offer and I'm not going to um, proceed. I've, I'm choosing a totally, totally different path. For some of you, this is love. I don't see any love though. I mean, to tell you the truth, the only love I see coming are the offers and they're both insincere. So the, the offers of love are insincere. If they're even love, they don't have to be. What I'm saying to you is for some of you, this is about um, work. It can be about a job. It could have been about a third party at work, a third person, a family member I'm feeling for some of you that butted in, got involved, caused problems. <clears throat> Whatever this is for each of you, you'll know. Um, you're not moving forward on it. You're, you're done with it. Definitely not. You've, you've chosen a new path. You do have a new beginning coming in. For sure and you're gonna have peace in your family peace in your home you're gonna feel very good about whatever this decision is that you've made I definitely see that it's going to be um, successful for you it's going to be a very peaceful move to get away from all this all right so spirit and angels anyone for the highest good please send through after tarot um, advice for the people watching for the ladies who are Scorpio or have Scorpio placements that are watching this reading please tell us or that are going to come and find this reading eventually for the people that need the messages the most please tell us what comes next in this situation what comes next October 13th to the 19th 2019 what comes next here in this situation what else? And what else? One more. Beautiful. Oh, perfect. All right, guys. I love it. Oh, my gosh. My face is itching for you guys. All right. So we have the Hierophant here. So whatever this thing was you were bound to, this can be any kind of uh, institution, person, contract, whatever it is. For each of you, it's going to be different. Whatever you felt very bound to in this situation is showing up. Now, I'm going to get a card on it, but we have you here. This knight does not offer the love or the cup to anyone else. They keep it for themselves, and they give themselves self-love. That's what's needed here. You're going to think of yourself this time, and you're going to end up being able to graduate a big cycle graduating from a huge cycle you're going to be um very happy to graduate this cycle you really are this is going to be um a completion of a cycle where you learned a lot of lessons you went through good times you went through bad times you went through some awful times 
Um, they could be shorter, they could be longer, they could be years and years and years, they could be months. It totally depends on how long it took you to complete your cycle. You're completing it and you're going to give yourself self-love and that's probably what the lesson was the whole time in the cycle. I'll bet you 10 to 1. All right, let's look at this Hierophant. Why is this Hierophant showing up here, please? I feel like this was your, part of your spiritual contract. Why is the Hierophant... Yeah, you're going to come in from being left out in the cold, too. You're going to stop feeling all that loss that you were feeling and regret and feeling lonely, feeling left out in the cold. You're going to get up and go inside and get out of... This is lack mentality. You're getting out of it. You have vibes. You definitely have change here. Big change coming, guys. Change is on its way. Anything else for the Hierophant, please? Scorpio ladies. Wow, gorgeous. Look at that. The star, temperance, and the ten of wands. All right, so, hmm, I love it. All right, with this ten of wands, you're going to drop the burdens done with the burdens and when you come out of it look at what you got in your hand your ace of wands he's holding the ace of wands he or she is holding their new beginning that's your new beginning coming in hopes wishes and dreams with the star card here and the temperance angel saying i've come in to help you balance this situation you're being divinely guided this was a spiritual plan that's why the hierophant came here that's what exactly what i was picking up intuitively that this was a spiritual contract for you that you're fulfilling you're going to complete it and then you get to move on to you know um hopes wishes and dreams you did your job that temperance angel and hierophant are here to say we came in to help you close out this cycle beautiful you're never alone guys never alone all right um don't forget that and we have a great little community here Anytime you guys want to comment or chat, there's always someone to jump in and, and give you guys some comfort, all right? Don't, and if I can't get to it to my, myself, I always see people reach out to other people, which I love. I think you guys are so kind to each other, and that's so, so sweet. Great people. I'm surrounded by amazing people. So thank you guys um, so much. I'm glad that I got to do the Lady Scorpio reading. All right, guys, um, please, please don't forget to comment down below. Bring your energy into mine. Let's share some energy and bring you into these readings. Even if it didn't resonate with you, please comment anyway, because that's how we get our energy flowing and work it together. We're, we work together in this, right? All right, guys, please like, share, subscribe. Um, if you like the video and you want to give it a thumbs up, much appreciated. Okay, guys, have a good one. Bye.